Hey everyone and welcome back to CG family. This time we are going to learn about camera sequencer. So if you guys have never heard about it, uh, it's under windows, animation editor and camera sequencer. So what does it do? Let's think of it as uh, after effect or premiere. Here you can have some sequences or clips of your cameras that you can edit, scale or manipulate according to the way you like them. So let's see what we have in this scene. Let's minimize this and let's play. So we have this motion capture that's for a guy falling. Now it can be because he got shot or something. So let's say according to our scene he got shot and he falls down. But what I want to see is, let's create a new camera, cam1 and let's set this angle, okay I'm happy with this. So he got shot and then after he falls down, I want to show a close up of him falling down like this. So to work traditionally I'll, I'll have to select the camera, set keyframes 40 and at 41 I'll have to move the camera nearby here wherever and then I'll have this animation. Now if this goes well with your scene then it's all good and well but uh, in case Let's say for example, let's delete this. Mm, let's go to edit, delete by type and channels. So if I want to see this camera from frame 1 to 40. But when I reach the frame 41, I don't want to see this frame. I want the animation to play from this uh, let's say frame number 15. So if I want the animation to play from frame 15, there's nothing that I can do because the time slider is linear and I can't go back on frame 15 and play the same animation after it has reached frame 40. So I'll have to first play blast this or render it out and then I'll have to create another camera and render it out again from another camera. So let's let's do it with the camera sequencer now. So first let's delete the keyframes, delete by type channels, and now we have the first camera ready and let's set it like this. Now after he got shot, let's create a new camera. Let's call it cam2 and place it here. Okay, looks good. So now we have two cameras, camera 1 and camera 2. One we have this and the other one is this. Now let's go to our camera sequencer, then again it's in windows, animation editor, camera sequencer. So after you open it, let's create a first shot. So let's go to our cam1 and create a shot. We can either click here or go to file and no, I think create shot. So the shot will be shot 1, the camera I want to choose is cam 1 and it's going to start from 1 and it's going to end on frame 40. Let's create the shot. So we have a first shot. Now let's create another shot. Let's call it shot 2. And the camera will be cam 2. It's going to start from frame 15. 
and let's take it till frame 66 that's the last frame of our animation and create another shot so now we have our frame 1 the character falls down and when we reach shot 2 it starts from frame 15 now look here this is our frame 1 of the shot and this is for our timeline now this is the end frame of our shot and this is of the timeline so when the first shot is played it starts from frame 1 and goes to frame 40 and here on frame 42 this frame 42 it starts from frame 15 the animation is playing from frame 15 as you can see here because this one is 15 so right here it's 15 and it's starting from frame 42 so let's with this button there's a button that erases the gap remove shot gaps now it's frame 41 so now till frame 40 we have our shot one with the camera one that we had and after 40 at the frame 41 we have our camera second that automatically gets changed according to the shot and the animation is still playing from the frame 15 so so focus here so when i scrub through it reaches frame 38 39 and 40 and when i reach the frame timeline 41 here it's gonna change back to 16 starts from 15 so this is our shot too now we have the clip ready and if i am showing it to my art director and this is the visual scene that i want to capture i think it captures it really well so now let's try to play it now when i play it from the uh, time slider here it plays the normal animation because i don't have any animation set on my perspective or cameras and when i play it from here from my camera sequencer i see the whole shot now i can select them both go to play blast and play blast the selected selected shots play blast all the shots and play blast the whole sequence so this is a good way to visually represent your shots so after you're done with this if you haven't done this frame 40 and then it starts from frame 15 this thing you can create an uber cam we're gonna come to that later but for now so as you know you can play blast this now let me undo let's go back to the normal height okay so you can play blast them visualize them show it to your art director and after that let's create another one now so now the first shot is same this but the second shot that we have there does not start from frame 15 now let's say it starts from frame 41 this is also gonna be frame 41 and from 66 so now it's the whole animation it just cuts the camera and now let's take a hypothetical situation you have a bigger scene so right now we have only two cameras but in your scene you have 3, 4, 10, 15 or even 50 cameras now you have visualized your scene camera by camera you have created your camera sequencer but after that now you need it on a single camera be it for many reasons for example you want to export the camera and you don't want to export many different cameras you just want to export a single camera and it must have an animation on it so that it moves according to all the other cameras so for that you can select the cameras you want to export or make another camera it's called ubercam so when you click on ubercam it's gonna go through your sequence the whole sequence and create a camera that has all the shots of your sequence so for example i have this cam 1 this angle and then i have cam 2 from this angle now in my shot it's 1 to 40 and then 41 to 66 
So if I select my Uber cam and start from frame 1, you will see it has keyframe on frame 1, frame 40, frame 41 and 66. So if I change from camera to Uber cam, now if I play, I have all the animation or all the sequence in a single camera. So now I can export this camera, go to my game engine or let's say Mammoth at tool bag and do whatever I want there. So as you saw guys, camera sequencer is a really handy tool to stage your scenes better. So if you like the video, you can hit the like button, subscribe to our channel CG family and make sure to share this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.